Hello, my name is Lena, and in this video I will show you how to knit the Icelandic sweater. This pattern is for a four-year-old, and I have put it in my blog, knitline.blogspot.com, and you can also download it for free in my webshop, uh, www.islena.se. It's available in English. The material you need for this uh, sweater is six hanks of Argos Loppy yarn, which is 100% Icelandic wool. You can, for example, find it in my web shop. And uh, you will also need circular needles, knitting needles, 4.5 mm and 6 mm, uh, 60 cm long. And this is US 7 and 10. And you will need 4.5 and 6 mm double pointed needles. To start with, you pick up your 4.5 mm circular needle and start to cast on 80 stitches. I will show you slowly how I do this. After you have finished 80 casts on, it's time to join stitches and knit in a round. And make sure no stitches are twisted and uh, you start with rib knitting. So then you do knit, purl, knit, purl. Knit and purl. Knit Purl Knit And continue like this for 4 cm Now I finished one round of rib knitting And one good thing you could do is to mark your first stitch you always know where the round ends. Continue with the rib knitting. You do knit on knit and purl on purl. When you have finished the rib, uh, it's time to change circular needles to the larger size, 6 mm. And uh, it's also time to increase some stitches. You will have to increase 10 stitches on this round, uh, which means that every 8 stitch, after every 8 stitch, you will have an increase. So start to knit 8 stitches. 1, 2, and it's only knit now. 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, and here you will do an increase. Get the thread, put it on your left needle, and then it's a little bit tight, so I will fix it. And then going from the front, and and. Uh, Get the thread and pull it off the needle. And there you have your twisted increase. It's a little bit more invisible. And knit 8 stitches again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight and then increase again. When the round is finished and you have increased ten stitches, 
it's time to start the pattern. And you have to look at chart 1, which you can download in my web shop or at my blog. So just pick up the black, the black uh, hank and uh, start to knit three stitches. One, two, three, and then pick up the black thread. And just make one. Take the white thread again and knit three and now you're not supposed to knit the black one I just want to twist it so it follows the knitting continue to knit uh, the pattern in this manner uh, until you have finished it now almost finished the pattern and I will show you how I knit the last part. I'm letting the threads follow, like I said before, twisting the threads on the back side so it looks nice. So here I'm knitting with the blue, and here comes the white thread, and let's pick up the blue again. And twisting the white around the blue and knitting the blue again and here comes the white and after you have finished the pattern you just knit with blue and continue until the, the body measures 28 centimeters the body is now finished and it's 28 centimeter long and you're not supposed to knit the four last stitches of the run you will put them aside for armholes later so let's start the arms pick up the white thread and pick up your double pointed needle 4.5 millimeter and you will also need your 6 millimeters very soon so have them nearby so to, to, uh, to start you just cast on 20 stitches and you will knit this the same way as you did the body so after casting on you will start with the rib and you, then you need the same pattern from chart 1 as you did for the body so continue cast on When you have finished 20 casts on, put a marker in the first stitch and uh, join, join the ring. You put uh, 5 stitches on each needle and you start to knit rib. Be sure that they are not twisted, the stitches. So, let's start with rib. Knit, purl, knit, purl and continue. Like that for 4 centimeters. Knit, purl, knit, and I knit with both threads for three stitches, and then I just let it hang and sew it in later. When the rib is finished, it's time to change needles. Now you will knit with 6mm double pointed needles and also this first round you will increase 10 stitches. You have 20 so you have to increase after every second stitch. Let's begin but for this first increase I will just knit one stitch and then, then uh, do the increase and after that is after every second. So here comes the increase. It's done in the same way as for the body, this twisted increase. So knit two and then increase. And I maybe forgot to mention that now you only knit straight stitches like you did for the body.
Now I will show you what I'm actually doing when I'm increasing if you didn't get the hang of it before. So I'm taking up the thread between two stitches and I'm putting it on the left needle and it's a little bit tight so I will just drag it to loosen it up a little bit and then I go from the front well it's still too tight it can be a little bit tricky so go from the front pick up your thread pull it through and pull it off the needle there you have your twisted increase it, it looks great and continue to knit two and increase again so when you have finished the round when you have increased 10 stitches you have 30 stitches and now it's time to start to knit the pattern it, it's the same pattern as for the body so we just follow chart one again so let's begin just knit three stitches with white two three and pick up your black thread and change to white again one two now the pattern is finished and I have also knitted one round of blue and it's time to increase two stitches over the next round and you do the increase uh, like this you you knit one stitch and then you increase after the first stitch and then you knit until the end of the round and before the last stitch you increase the second second increase so you you increase after the first stitch and you increase before the last stitch so knit one do the increase and continue to knit straight stitches until you have one stitch left of the round and here I'm in the end of the round and I knit until it's one stitch left like this and then I increase again this is the second increase and knit the last stitch and now you're supposed to, to increase two stitches, through two stitches like this every fifth round four times. And be sure to mark where you start, then it will be easier to see where you're supposed to increase. So continue to knit straight stitches and increase two stitches every fifth round four times from now on. You will have 40 stitches after all the increases are made. Just continue to knit three stitches until the arm measures 28 to 30 centimeters or desired length. Now the arm is finished uh, or almost finished. I have just some stitches left to knit. And uh, you, you are not supposed to knit the four last st stitches because they are put aside on a thread for armholes. So uh, here we have four stitches and pick up a thread or holder or whatever you have stitch holder and just put the four last stitches on this and you will also put the, the four first stitches of next round so totally you have eight stitches on a thread or a stitch holder So well, now you have eight stitches on this thread and uh, now I have to change needles since I'm going to knit the other arm with these needles and I don't have another set of six millimeter needles. Um, so just change the needles to any size you have and continue to knit the other arm exactly the same way that you knitted this, this one. Since you're not using your thread anymore, you can rip it. 
and you can use the leftovers for the next time. So now you have finished the body and the two arms and it's time to join them and knit everything on the circular needle. And you will use the 6mm circular needle that's on the body. And the body is now 90 stitches and the arms are each 32 stitches. You have taken away 8 stitches on each arm for armhole and now it's time to take away 8 stitches on each side of the body. The first thing we will do is to put aside 8 stitches on the body for armholes. So take up your black thread and, uh, and just put 8 stitches on it. Or if you have a stitch holder, put it on that. Now you have 8 stitches on the thread or stitch holder and it's time to knit the first arm. So exactly what you're going to do this next round is to start with knit the arm, 32 stitches, the first arm. Then you continue knit 37 stitches of the body. And the next 8 stitches you put aside for armhole number 2. And you knit the second arm, 32 stitches. And lastly you knit the 37 stitches of the body. And then you have come to the beginning again and everything is joined on one circle needle. Let's continue and see how I do this. Pick up your first arm and make sure that the armholes are opposite each other. So, put the armholes against the armhole of the body. And uh, let's just start knit the arm. And you use the thread on the body. And just knit straight stitches, 32 stitches, until the arm is on your circle and needle. So when the arm is finished, you start to knit the body, 37 stitches of the body. And I usually take the, the thread from the arm with me. So I, I knit with two threads here for like three or four stitches. And then I sew it in, in the end. So just continue knit. Now I have knitted uh, 37 stitches of the body and it's time to put aside 8 stitches for the second armhole. So take up your thread or your stitch holder and just put 8 stitches on it. So, now it's time to knit the second arm. Uh, so you just knit the 32 stitches of the second arm. And remember to have the armholes opposite each other when you start to knit. Now I have finished the arm, 32 stitches of the arm, and now it's time to knit the, the remaining 37 stitches of the body. 
And I will knit with two threads for uh, like two or three stitches. Is uh, the thread from the arm that I'm using with the thread that I'm knitting with. So now I have finished the second part of the body and here you can see the arms, both arms are on a circular needle and now it's time to knit one more round with straight stitches before you start the pattern. And here is how it looks like under the arm, the armholes uh, and you just sew them together when you finish the whole sweater and I will show you that, how you do that too. So just let's continue to knit straight stitches for one round. You have finished one round, you start to knit the pattern uh, using chart two. I will not show this part, you have to figure it out yourself. So now I have finished the pattern uh, and it looks really nice. You just follow chart 2 and the decreases in the chart. And you can see here how it decreases and when it gets narrow you have to change to double pointed needle 6 millimeters. And now you are going to knit rib after the pattern and you will use 4.5 millimeter needles as you did for the rib in the bottom. So yet start to change to double pointed needles 4.5 millimeter. And you need straight stitches for one round with 4.5 uh, before you need to rib. When you have finished one round of straight stitches, uh, you will just start to knit rib in the same way as you did when you started the body and the arm. So knit, purl, knit, purl and continue like that for 4 centimeters. I have now finished the neck and it is 4 centimeters of rib knitting. And next thing to do or the last thing to do is to cast off. And you just follow the rib, I mean you knit, purl, knit, purl, when you cast off. So knit, take the first stitch over the second, and then you purl, and you do the same, you take the first stitch over the second, and you, you leave it on the needle. Just continue to cast off like this until you have finished the whole round. And after that you have finished the whole sweater. Congratulations. But you still have the armholes to sew together. And I will just show that to you in another video. I just want to give you one tip before this video has come to an end. Just remember when you cast off to do it loosely. If you do it too tight it will not go over your head. I have done that many times and then I have to of course rip up the whole round and start over again. So you just draw out a lot of yarn here and remember to do the same for every other stitch. Uh, it will not look ugly. And when you have one stitch left on the needle, 
just pull the thread through it and weave in all the loose ends. And then you sew the armholes, which are not showing here. And here you have the finished sweater. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood it all. So, continue cast on.